Hey vlog fam, what is up? It is officially that season, spring cleaning time, and I am currently on spring break, so I am taking full advantage of the time that I have off to just like get myself organized, clean up, like really do a deep clean and also declutter and stuff like that. So I just made myself a smoothie to get myself in that spirit. This is so good, by the way. I used um, strawberries, bananas, mango, coconut water, and a little bit of peanut butter powder. Mm, so, so good. And like the perfect amount of sweetness and fruitiness. This is really good. I am so excited to finish this. Um, I did actually start spring cleaning a little earlier. I did my clothes, so I'll show you. I kind of just have like two bags of clothing that I plan on donating. I am trying to sell some of it. I do have a Poshmark, so if any of you are interested, I will try to remember to leave my Poshmark link in the description box so you can shop some of my clothing. I mostly put a lot of my Zara stuff on there, so it's good quality stuff and I'm selling it for a lot cheaper than what I paid for. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Aside from that today, I have a bunch of papers in my closet that I've just like hidden away back there and I, I forget that they're even there because I have it like tucked behind. Let me just go show you because that is what I plan on tackling today. It is just so much that it has accumulated over the years. I don't even know what's in there. And so that's kind of a big part of the problem. But let me show you. Okay, hidden deep um, away in my closet. As you can see, I've got these little paper holders. I've got this box full of stuff, this box full of stuff. It's just a lot and I have yet to look through it and see what's actually in there. So that's definitely on my agenda and I'm just probably gonna pull it all out right now and get rid of a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just found my middle school yearbook, guys. This class of 2007. Guys, my... <laughs> Look at this. I was um, one of the leads in our eighth grade play. Also, by the way, the play was Jekyll and Hyde, which was so inappropriate for middle school. But look at me. <laughs> oh, I remember I was so nervous about this song that I had to sing. Oh my gosh, I look crazy in this picture. Forget that I even showed you that. That is wild. Look at me. That is so crazy. I have not looked at this book in years. Aww. <laughs> this is so funny. That was pajama day. So cute. This is so crazy, guys. I'm really going through memory lane. Oh my gosh, prom. Aw, look at me again. You guys wouldn't believe what I looked like in middle school. I definitely was not rocking my curls back then. I used to straighten that hair. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I'm just like stunned. Anyway, we're closing this book because <laughs> I am just having flashbacks and that is so wild. Okay, so I realized in this, it's mostly like a lot of memories. Like I have my graduation programs from middle school, high school, college. Oh, this is my tax form folder. So I'm gonna leave that right back where it was. update <laughs> they say it gets worse before it gets better right so at least i have a big pile of stuff to get rid of and these things like there's some books there so i want to keep that i'm just trying to put things in piles but look what i just found <laughs> so many memories this was my graduation photo from undergrad when i went to school in virginia and your girl had the lanyards what are those things called those little strings I don't know. Anyway, it meant that I had honors, so I am proud of that. I look so different. 
Okay, I'm feeling really good about this. I was able to condense all of that stuff into just one box, which is where I keep all of my little memories, my keepsakes, things like that. So that is definitely going to give me more space to work with. And I think I'm... Hey friends! I just completed an interview. I don't even think I told you all that I was job hunting, but yes, I'm still looking for a position in education. I'm just looking at different schools, one of which I used to work at, so I'm feeling really excited and hopeful about it. But I just finished interview number three, and I still have to go back um, after spring break and do like a demo lesson so that they can see me teach math even though they already have seen me teach, but that's fine. Um, I'm feeling really, really excited. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the struggle of my setup, but this is just what I've had to do in my little studio because I don't have space for a desk here. So I literally just grab this teeny tiny stool that I normally keep by my bed and I stack books on top of it so that it can give my computer some height. And then I just sit on my couch and I do all of my like Zoom meetings from there, which is pretty rare. Like I am working in person, like I've said many times, so I don't often have to do Zoom meetings, but like when we come back from breaks and things like that, I was hosting school on Zoom. So that's my unfortunate setup. <laughs> but yeah, um, I gotta show you guys this outfit because I always think it's funny how like you only get dressed from the top up because that's all they see. So here is what we're working with. I got this little button down. It's supposed to be like a little dress, but obviously I'm just wearing it with pants and my chancletas, <laughs> my little smiley face slippers that I love so much. So I've had to just put myself together from the top up and hopefully I looked professional in the Zoom. I think it went well, but um, I was very, very nervous. It was with the head of the school, so that always feels a little extra scary, but I really hope I get it. Pray for me, y'all. <laughs> so it's a little bit later. I've just changed into something more comfortable, and now I am starting to sort through my shoes. I have a lot of shoes. I'm not even touching like boots or anything like that yet. This is just basically my summer shoe collection. I'll go ahead and show you now. So I've pulled these two things out. If you're wondering, these are kept, um, one of them is under my bed and then the other one I keep under my couch. And this is just like summer shoes, not even sneakers, not covering like all of that stuff. And already I'm seeing stuff that I'm just not gonna wear like these wedges right here. I'll open this up so you can see better. Yeah, so these wedges, I bought them a while ago from Just Fab. Only wore them once for a wedding and then I've never worn them since. And this was like years ago. So these I can definitely either just donate or sell. Um, here's the other shoe. And then I have these babies, which are still cute, but I don't really wear them. They're not like my go-to, so I'm gonna take those out. Um, these black ones, I do love these, but Again, I just, I'm not so much of a heel girl anymore and this is like too high for me already. <laughs> Since I had my little broken foot accident, these are more <laughs> my style, you know? All of these, these are my new ones. As you can see, they still have the price tag, some of them, but this is more my style. <laughs> I'm like the kitten heel kind of girl and mules for sure, but actually these jean mules I will also be donating because I don't wear those. I haven't worn these. These are just too flat for my feet. So I'm gonna put those to the side. Already we are getting things done. So hopefully I'll be able to clear out a lot of this by the time I'm finished. And then I'll go ahead and show you after. Okay, this is really good. I was able to fit all of those shoes into just one of these little shoe organizers. So that one is completely cleared out. And I think I'm just going to <laughs> throw it away because clearly it's not in good condition but this one is. So I fit all of my summer shoes in just this one thing and it holds, it's supposed to hold 12, but as you can see, I've stuffed like 
two pairs into one slot so there are more than 12 pairs in here and then this little section here is stuff that i'm going to give away to thrift shops and then these two i'm planning on selling on my poshmark because these are from zara i only wore them once but i just don't find the little thong shoes comfortable that's just my own preference and then these Nikes, again, they're in perfect condition, so I will probably be putting those up for sale as well. And yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. And then next on my to-do list, I really want to vacuum my couch. I don't know, I know that like stuff falls in those little cracks and crevices, so I really do just want to pass a little vacuum. But I can't find the thing that turns my regular vacuum into a handheld vacuum, you know, that little like plug-in thing. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that today, but I'm really wanting to get that done and we'll see what else I end up tackling for the day. Found the attachment, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my vacuum. Ugh. This is the vacuum that I use, iWoli, iWoli. It's from Amazon and it works pretty well, so I'm just gonna attach it to the bottom here. And let's get... Hello there, so it's the next evening and I just pulled out a bunch of my coats because I am ready to fully transition my winter wardrobe to my summer wardrobe, but I can't really do that because like today it was still in the 40s and I don't know, I just pulled out my bigger, heavier coats that I'm definitely planning on bagging up and storing somewhere and then I'll just kind of slowly make that transition happen but I could definitely use some more closet space because it's just getting out of hand with my shopping. So um, I'm happy to get this done now and then I can start making more room for the clothes that I wanna bring out for spring and summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get the vacuum pump bag and just fold these coats up and let's do it together. And just like that, we've got five coats in this little bag. I wasn't able to get it down that much just because they are really thick coats. They are my New York City winter coats. But I'm glad that I was able to put them in this bag and now I can just stick them in the closet and not have to think about them until next year. And we're back with more clothing. <laughs> I've officially sorted through the pieces that I'm gonna be selling on Poshmark. There is some really good stuff in here a lot of which has tags on it because I just buy things and don't wear them apparently. But I've got really good Zara jeans. These were my favorite, they just don't fit me anymore. And I've got like four pairs of pants, some Zara leather pants in here, really good quality stuff. This also has tags on it. This skirt, which is beautiful, but I just happen to have two skirts of the same kind of color. So didn't need that. Um, and then this really nice Calvin Klein coat. I love it so much, but it's an extra small. So again, it doesn't really fit me that well. Well, I can get in it, but I can't really wear like thick sweaters and stuff with it. So it doesn't really serve much of a purpose for these New York winters. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you some pieces. Another cute set that has tags on it. So these will all be going up on my Poshmark. If you see them, then buy them. <laughs> okay guys, my friends and I are gonna head to Brooklyn to go to Beacon's Closet over there and also check out Crossroads so that we can donate some stuff. I fully have this huge bag here and then another bag on the floor. I just <laughs> walked it over a few blocks and my arms are so limp. But yeah, we're gonna drive over there and I'm hoping that they'll give me 
a few bucks for the clothing. If not, I'm just gonna have to donate them because it's a lot of stuff and I don't wanna lug it all back. And I'm really trying to downsize, so that's the current situation. Back home, you guys, I didn't end up filming in either of the stores. I ended up going to three stores altogether. Um, we went to Beacon's Closet, Crossroads, and then Buffalo Exchange. And I don't know if any of you have sold at any of those stores, but it's kind of like a weird experience. They just basically go through your clothing items one by one and basically decide right then and there if they want it or if they don't. Most of the times they're not gonna want your things. And I found it just a little strange because I had so many pieces that were brand new with tags. And of course, those are the ones that they wanted to take, but they really only picked out a few pieces to take. I got a couple bucks for those items and then I still came back home with like those two big bags. So it was a little annoying, but I guess that's just how it goes. And then they end up like marking up your items obviously to make a profit. So it's kind of weird, but I guess the rest of my stuff will just go to donations because I really have to get rid of stuff. I like my closets are spilling over because I have too much stuff. So it just has to get done, but I'll probably end up giving some stuff to my mom and she often sends stuff to DR to like donate them to people who need them. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know what to do next. I am thinking of going into my TV stand and organizing. Let me see what it's looking like. So it has gotten a little bit out of control because my nail products are just all over the place and I've got some perfumes to sort through. Like I used to have everything kind of organized in these little clear bins. So I had like all of my perfumes and stuff in here. Um, and then this was like school supplies, so lots of pens, glue, scissors, stuff like that. And then I have bunch of nail polish in here I can't even open it right now but yeah and then some jewelry but I just have to organize this so that it looks cleaner and then also I can declutter some stuff I don't think I need that many perfumes and that many things and a lot of that stuff I don't even use so I'll probably tackle this next and let's see if I can do a little bit of a transformation shot for you and here it is I don't know if it really looks like much of a difference to you all, but I definitely did some organizing for myself so that I just know where everything is. It looks a lot neater. I've got some books stacked back there. Everything is in its right place, so I feel a lot better about it. Okay, so I didn't show you guys much of the deep cleaning portion. I tried to just show things that I thought you might be interested in, but the apartment is spotless. It's looking so good. So I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I'm also just exhausted from this big week of cleaning and going through all of my stuff. So I'm now just gonna go take a nice warm shower and enjoy this newly cleaned apartment. All right, guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end off the video there. I really hope you enjoyed this declutter with me spring cleaning kind of video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!